Daybreak, Chapter 5, Alloy Daring Duke glanced at her sketch of the throwing knife. A bandage was wrapped around her hoof where she had accidentally sliced herself trying to handle it. The blade had not gotten much duller since its use a week before. Most of the knife was compromised of its microscopically sharp blade, which had a channel running down its length to allow blood flow. Swirls like rippling water flowed up to the tip. Where one would usually find a handle were a series of barbs in the shape of a comb, securing it to the user's feathers and releasing it quickly when needed. Between the combs and the blade, various symbols were carved out of the metal. Daring Do flipped through a tome from her private reference collection. Wing blades of various shapes and sizes decorated the pages, each representing an era of pony history. Symbols and their translations were called out in diagrams and notes. Hieroglyphics depicted heroic deeds and vast battles. <sighs> There's as many knives as there are historic figures, Darren grumbled. Time Turner had the actual blade. He slid it underneath a machine and pulled a lever. That's not going to destroy it, is it? Twilight Sparkle asked. It's sort of important evidence. Not at all. Time Turner motioned her closer. You see that tiny diamond point? That's going to drive a small indentation into the middle while the gauge records how deep it goes. We'll compare that to the charts and see how hard the material is. Twilight frowns. You're poking holes in my evidence. Tiny indentations, Time said. Tiny, unnoticeable indentations. It's called non-destructive testing for a reason. He pulled the lever and lowered the weights. The diamond point sunk into the metal as a needle gauge shuddered. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a... Wait. He rubbed his chin. Uh, went off the charts. Load some more weight onto the press, princess. Wait, what? Twilight huffed. You're gonna poke more holes in it. Tiny, infinitesimal indentations. Time Turner motioned to the weights. Fifty more pounds, if you please. Twilight loaded the black disc onto the machine. She narrowed her eyes and watched Turner carefully. Hey, Sparkle. Daring Do said. She ruffled her mane with both hooves, getting the last bit of dampness out. Did this thing have any poison in it? No, no poison, just precision. Twilight cringed as the needle gauge jiggled from the pressure. She knew right where to hit the guards. <sighs> Yikes. Daring Do spoke around the pencil in her mouth as she took notes. But also interesting. She? Time Turner looked up from his own notes. You mean this assassin person? The one and only. Twilight leaned over her shoulder. So, what have you got? Well, it's hard, he said. Really hard. It'll hold an edge like you wouldn't believe. It's also tough. Very tough. It can be bent quite some ways before breaking. He lifted his hoof to pick it up, but hesitated. If you would please. Twilight lifted it in the spell and walked it over to a metallic box. Time Turner wound a crank on its side. This spectrometer, he said, will reveal the chemical composition of the material. How's it do that? Time paused in his turning. He then coughed. By hitting it with a bolt of lightning and recording how light passes through the debris cloud. Whoa, really? Daring Do walked over, her pencil clenched in her teeth. You've got a generator in here? No! Twilight shook her head. No, no, no! You said you weren't going to destroy the evidence! I'm not, really. Time Turner opened a hatch. Not by much, anyway. How can I tell you what it's made of unless you let me find out? I'll take it to Celestia School for Gifted Unicorns. I'll give it to the lab as a special credit project for the students. Twilight held up her nose, then her head drooped. And swear every pony involved to utter secrecy under pain of treason, I suppose. A brilliant idea, isn't it? Time Turner turned one blue eye to the floating blade. They'll have to do it the same way, just with the unicorn magic. Is... is this the only blade, princess? Twilight hesitated. She sat down with a huff and lowered the knife into the box. <sighs> no, there's dozens. It's just... This is the only one that the guard let me keep, though, so don't mess it up too bad. Now this I gotta see. Daring Dew peered at the side of the box, where the crank connected to bits of machinery. Never got a chance to get up close and personal with lightning that wasn't trying to kill me. Uh, you aren't going to see too much through the insulated box, Turner said. But if you'll lend me your ears... They all leaned close as the box hummed. It grew into a low buzz, and the lights in the shop dimmed. That's it. Wake up. Time Turner placed his hoof over a button. Wake up, and tell me what this thing's made of. 
He pressed the button, and the spectrometer popped. A printer beside the device wound up and began to gradually spit out graphs. Daring Do blinked. She then turned to Time Turner. That was it. Were you expecting maybe a thunderstorm? Yeah, kinda. Uh, sorry to disappoint. Time Turner opened the hatch. Careful, it's probably hot. Twilight Sparkle gripped the wing blade in her magic and set it nearby. A dark spot was burned into the center. <sighs> we better be getting some real good data from this thing. Time examined the printer results. Mostly iron, no surprise. Nickel and... Well, that's odd. What do you make of this? Twilight looked over her shoulder. Carbon molecules? Daring do look between them. Am I missing something important? Why is there carbon in metal? Twilight shuffled back to let Daring Do into the huddle. You know what carbon is, right? Well, I know we don't use carbon dating anymore because of how inaccurate it is. Daring scratched her cheek. It's in living things and charcoal and stuff. Yeah, that. Twilight glared at the burn. And now it's in an alloy. She tucked in her wings. I'll look into it later. Right now it's kinda late. The cuckoo clock chimed eleven. Time Turner wrinkled his nose. <sighs> Miss Suppa again. Any pony want a quick sandwich? Daring Do motioned them over to the reference book. Quick update on the stuff first. It's weird. She pointed at her sketch, then at the sketch in the book. Check it out. They match. Twilight squinted. Wait, they match? How much? Exactly. Daring traced a hoof over the symbols in the book. It's got all of these carved on it too. Down to the littlest details. She leaned her elbow onto the table. I think whoever this assassin is, she's Commander Hurricane's biggest fan. The hair on Twilight's back stood up. She then shivered. It's an exact match to Hurricane's blades? Really? Like I said, exactly. She pointed to a hieroglyph shaped like a spear, then to one shaped like a shield. This symbol represents the day Hurricane joined the Pegasopolis Air Cavalry, and this one's where he achieved the rank of Commander. She. Twilight said, her mouth dry. Luna said Hurricane was a mare. Daring lowered her eyebrows. Well, I guess I don't want to argue with some pony who was there. Anyway, this is the weird part. It has all the symbols down to the very last one Hurricane ever added. Time Turner wiped down his spectrometer. What's that? The symbol Daring pointed out was of a hoof and wings surrounding a heart. This one? Symbolizing the unification of the three tribes. She spread her wings in a shrug. You ask me, I don't think the pony who wanted to hit Celestia would want to remember the unification. She definitely wouldn't if she was a Pegasus tribal purist like you've guessed, Sparkle. N no. Twilight stuttered. She wouldn't. Now, getting into super freaky territory. Daring Do sat down with a tome on her lap. So, you said the blades weren't poisoned? It says here, Hurricane hated poison with a vengeance. Some sort of trauma with his, uh, her? early life, scarred his, uh, her, left cheek, something awful. <sighs> you don't say. Twilight said, and she shook her head. Gosh, I feel like such a sandwich right now. Anybody else really feeling a sandwich coming? <sighs> I'll get the tulips, my treat. Time Turner then trotted towards his kitchen. Hey. Daring Do said. She put a hoof on Twilight's back. You okay? Twilight took a deep breath in through her nose, and let it out through her mouth. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure. The more evidence I see, the more it's leading me to believe something horrible. Time Turner leaned into the hallway, his ear cocked. The more I see, the more I think Luna's theory might be right. The assassin is Hurricane. Daring then chuckled. When Twilight didn't join in, her smile melted away. That's... That, that's impossible, right? Twilight didn't say anything. She just gave Daring a level stare. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Daring do snapped the book shut. I mean, Hurricane helped raise the princesses. He, uh, she, was a father figure, or something to them. So why would she want to murder Celestia? And why would she travel to the far future to do it? Time Turner called out. Something just doesn't add up. Daring Do jerked her head. What say we carry this conversation over to the kitchen? Sounds like genius. The table was set for three places. Twilight let her wings down to touch the floor as she slouched before her sandwich. Daring Do swallowed hers in three bites. Time Turner just nibbled. 
So, Derengu said after a hearty gulp. You're younger than I expected. Time Turner narrowed one eye. Me? Yeah, you. You were already a legend when I first got inducted into the Knights. Derengdu pushed her plate forward and crossed her forelegs. How old are you, anyhow? Thirty-five, last I checked. Time Turner kept his gaze on his meal. Uh, why? Uh, how old are you? Daring tissed. Don't you know how to not ask a lady that? Ah, uh, I have some ideas to proper etiquette, yes. Time Turner smirked. Perhaps I just chose not to use it. Daring snorted. She tapped Twilight on the shoulder. You gonna finish that? Twilight wordlessly slid the untouched sandwich over. Daring downed it in four mouthfuls. Cause it's like, you couldn't go anywhere without the old guys talking about Time Turner. I joined the guard 18 years ago, so you'd have to have been- I got a young start. Time took a large bite and chewed slowly. So, what about you? How'd you get Celestia to believe your book series wouldn't bear Equestria's deepest secrets to the world? Daring Du smiled. She patted Twilight's shoulder, but the princess didn't seem to notice. She hired Sparkle's mom to edit. Seems like being the former captain of the guard builds trust or something. Ah, that would do it. That would do it. Time Turner draped one foreleg over the back of his chair. So, how much does she usually edit out? Not as much as she used to. I've been learning the difference between dramatic moments and detailed information on troop movements. Daring Du rubbed the back of her head. Oh, and yeah, we tone down the violence a lot because it's an all-age series. A lot of bad guys tend to fall down bottomless pits, if you know what I mean. Yes, I believe I know the gist of it. Time mumbled. What about you? Daring said. How much of the Legend of Time Turner is real life? She cupped a hoof to her mouth. Did you really go back in time to be a younger Celestia secret lover? What? Twilight yelped. Oh, no! Turner shouted. Heck no! Cuss no! Daring crossed her forelegs, jutting out her lip, and gestured for time to continue. Twilight eyed him suspiciously. I just... Uh, as the Knight of Time, I kept an eye on time travel-related activities. Time Turner's gaze bounced between the two mares. Artifacts created by Starswill, beings known to experiment, criminals who... wanted to exploit it. And that's all. It was no great adventure, no impossible journey, no... He groaned. No young stallion's fantasy. Daring Do rubbed her upper foreleg. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit a sore spot. I know, I know. I, I can't hold it against you. Time stood up and gathered their plates. I'd want to know more about such a legend too, you know? He winked. Maybe I'll get the chance. Oh, you will. Daring Do flashed him a lopsided grin. Trust me. Oh, fifth wheel's going to date rounds and round. Twilight Sparkle muttered. You say something, Sparkle? Daring Do asked. Nope. Twilight Sparkle stood and stretched her wings. Her back cracked. Oh, thank you for your help and hospitality, Mr. Turner, but we've got to turn in for the night. Oh, it's my pleasure. Time licked his lips. I'll give you a copy of the results and look them over myself. I'll let you know if anything interesting comes up. Twilight then nodded. Daring Do gave her wings a decisive flap. We'll catch the son of a gun, Daring said. <laughs> Heck yeah, we will. Were Time Turner and Daring Do actually flirting with each other? Because I can't tell if it was just a joke or something else. Now, let's get on to them tinkering donators. Top donators, Dash of Evergreen and J Tin Man. Peter Coldhard, Dospo, Runescythe9852, Courier Crew CI, Delta Omega, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Soul Dragon, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, Gaggy, David D. E. Sanchez, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F., Rainbow Dash, Darkseid, Teal K. Anderson, and TV Killer. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.